legal threats and outrage over the cruise ship terminal bombshell. Marymount schoolies dice with danger leaping from a bridge. And masters flood the coast for the Pan Pacific Party. Live from Surfers Paradise, this is Nine Gold Coast News with Bruce Page. Good evening. A multi-billion dollar plan for a tourist mecca, including a cruise ship terminal on the Broadwater, has sparked legal threats, anger and high profile interest. Today's announcement certainly made casino king James Packer sit up and take notice. It's the bold, if unoriginal, plan to inject millions of tourism dollars into the Gold Coast, a cruise ship terminal with hotels, shops, restaurants, super yachts and possibly a casino, the largest tourism precinct of its kind in the state. What we're doing is, is offering our cooperation, our support, uh, the mechanisms that are available to us, the state land that's available to us here in the, in the Broadwater to give this project every chance of success. State Government and Council want expressions of interest. They'll hand out free land on Wavebreak Island or the Spit, but expect the developers to do the rest. Something that's going to be quintessential Gold Coast, something's going to be world-renowned. I want it to be that uh, should anyone fly into Australia, it a must, must be a place to visit. Singaporean company Sembawang says the master plan was its idea for Wavebreak Island and will, if necessary, take it to court. Uh, yes, if our intellectual property is lifted, I, I'm not going to make any decision about it. I'll put it in front of a judge and we'll seek injunctive relief. Cruise ship companies are backing the plan, while James Packer's gaming group says it hasn't seen the proposal yet, but is interested in having a look. This is a tourism sector that's growing uh, substantially, and it's a sector that the Gold Coast currently has uh, no share of. Very important part of the future of the Gold Coast tourism industry. The best bid will be announced mid next year. Curry Ann Greenbank, Nine Gold Coast News. Meantime, cruise ship terminal protesters have delivered a message to Tom Tate and Campbell Newman, we won't take this lying down. It might have only been a small display of people power, but they certainly weren't shy. Their message, keep your hands off the glitter strip, worry about Brisbane's terminal. Premier Newman, get off your ass and do something about your city and make a cruise ship terminal that is a worldwide success. Don't throw it down here to the Gold Coast and let the developers build it. It's surfer's paradise, not dirty big boat and dirty big building paradise. The newly formed Save Our Southern Beaches Alliance and Save Our Spit group came together, livid but not shocked about the Broadwater announcement. At our last rally meeting on Wednesday night, one of our committee members said, what bombshell are they going to drop on us before the rally to try and derail? It. But it's done far from that. They're expecting even more protesters at this weekend's Save Our Spit rally. Keith Douglas is considering joining them. Angry, the regional leaders group's idea for a terminal, unveiled just yesterday, was snubbed. I mean, the offshore solution is the only one we should be doing. Um, it provides all benefits uh, and no disadvantages. The leader group's also fuming after spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on a proposal for North Kira. It's now on ice and they'll pick it on Sunday too. Dominique Loudon, Nine Gold Coast News. The schoolies' insanity has begun. Two weeks out from the official start of celebrations.